Hey there for oh kitties and what where all the kitties come from? Well, I got a TTG reaction for you with snuggle time. Man, these are my enemies over here. I mean, they're cute, but those cats would eat me up. Oh. Yeah, you know. You gotta, you gotta get the marshmallows with your hot chocolate and everything, but everybody's looking really cozy, though. Where's the danger? I mean, imagine if the whole episode was just them cuddling up with kitties the entire time. Would you enjoy that? Just 10 minutes of chill ASMR kitty sounds with the Titans, you know? Oh, they are in there. Oh. Look closer. Wait, are they, like, they're so tiny. <laughs> I never want to move again. <laughs> oh, but look at Beast Boy, though. He's like an old granny. Yeah. Oh. Ah, kitty time is over. <laughs> Raven just got shoved off like that. Oh, by the way, there's some DC logos on the bottom left. And Bane, but it could have been that could have been the entire episode just dumb sitting on the couch with kitties. But nope. Prime alert! Now we got an episode. Oh goodness! Because you're heroes. It is our job as heroes to answer that. So what are they questioning that they? Oh. Oh. Who kitty? Oh, is it the hive? It's the hive, isn't it? Nice. But are they really questioning that, you know, you're, you're heroes. You wanted to be heroes, right? You're the Teen Titans. Like, if you don't want to be the Teen Titans, just don't be heroes anymore. But then we wouldn't have this show anymore, you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't, they, they're gone. Okay, oh. Hive, let's get this over with. Wow. I'm sorry. Did you have some Where's the enthusiasm? In our death ray? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yucking? I guess that's why they say it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you're still going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, might as well get it over with so they can go back to cuddling with kittens, you know? But... I love how, you know, Cyborg said all of that, but, you know, even though Cyborg and Jinx are going out, you know, they still got to be, they still got to be, you know, enemies with each other, you know? She's right. Being a villain is way more fun than being a hero. Oh, to do is it? When you want. I am oh, my. They're really so questioning the herohood. Yeah. What? To use a death ray. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a billion dollars does I'm sound. Going to let you do that, Gizmo. Oh, oh. I'm going to do it first. No, no, wait, no. no. <laughs> I mean, now every now I be, now is everybody going to be evil? I remember the episode where Starfire tried to be evil to make Robin happy. The Motorcycle Monday episode, I believe, because I remember at the end, Robin beat up Starfire with his motorcycle. That's a sentence, am I right? Oh, they did it. The good guys did the bad thing. Oh, go for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, dang. But is it really bad? Like, Raven can do that at any time, but playing with a death ray does sound fun, but Raven can literally be bad at any moment. All she has to do is stop being a hero. She is half demon. She can be bad at any time. I mean, Trigon would be so happy to see her on that death ray right now. He'd be, he's right there watching her through the portal, tear in his eye. So, uh, should we call 911? On the Titans themselves. Oh! <laughs> that was so sweet. The museum went kapow. We blowed it up good, yo. 
I wonder what this means now. <laughs> I'm learning a lot, though. Oh. Because I wanted to. Oh. That's the point. That's the point right there. Everybody's gonna be bad. I'm learning a lot from this episode. It's good to be bad. You know what? I'm gonna be a bad tuna now. I'm gonna be a horrible reactor. <laughs> I think what Raven is trying to say with her slaps is Yeah. Why can't we be bad? Yes, because you are good be the but why not let's see what happens are you sure about this will this mean like new designs and whatnot well here's my argument oh. <laughs> so villains hurt each other oh my goodness <laughs> is that the garage oh <laughs> So, is that how villains talk to each other, though? Like, hey, how's it going? Punches you in the face. Oh, how you doing? Stomps you. Freaking blows you up. Hope you're having a nice day. Makes you fall off a cliff. Like, yeah, th that's a normal conversation with villains, right? Oh, my. <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is nice. It, it, it's going from slaps to burns and whatnot. Wow. So I guess they came to a consensus. Like, that's the way to talk to each other. Literally going from slapping to pinching to burning to almost killing right there. You know, just a normal conversation. Then it's settled. We're becoming villains. Oh. Oh, way villain design. Hey, she's back. Oh, hold on, Spikes? Okay, really? That's just Cyborg with Spikes, though. Come on, Starfire went through a major design change with Starfire the Terrible. I know it's her... That's her design from back then, but it's still a cool looking design. Cyborg can do way better than this. I put the in front of Cyborg to make it sound more villainous. Th thank you, Cyborg. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, that's really cool, though. What? Dick Gravestone. <laughs> I don't know why, but is that an actual Robin thing? Like, is that like an alternate Robin thing if he was evil? Or is Dick Gravestone much like the Batman's, you know, that, you, you know, like how Batman does it? Like, that's the, that's the human Robin, I guess. Yeah? Oh, the Hulk? Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, I gotta say, Beast Boy really got that baby face syndrome. He really got that baby face syndrome. Big body, but the small face and everything. Basically, he's the Hulk, but with a baby face. I gotta say, the cool ones here are Starfire, Raven, and Robin. Cyborg needs to try harder with that, though. <laughs> uh, there's already a legion Say hello to We're bad Dick guys Gravestone. We take it. Now we must build an evil lair. You already uh, got a lair. Too much work, Yell. Oh. You're forgetting one of the best things about being a villain. Oh, what is that? Oh, the henchmen. They get other people to do it for them. They're really building the Legion of Doom. That is just the Legion of Doom right there. What? What about the actual Legion of Doom? They just. Straight up ripped off the freaking design and everything. <laughs> That's really cool, though. <laughs> Unpaid interns, am I right? 
Real cheese do be sounding good though. Heroes don't have henchmen, they have sidekicks, and believe me, that gets weird fast. Oh, Robin, what? Oh, 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 Lex lotion. Why? Why did? Why did Batman get some lotion from Lex Luthor, the villain of Superman? Am I right? But yeah, as a sidekick, you probably have to do weird stuff like that. I feel sorry for Robin, who was Batman's sidekick. He must have done so many weird things, like. Feed the fish. That was like from season one, right? The whole Batman episode. The back Doing what we want. When we want. I don't know. Dick Gravestone is really cool, though. We are those who make it. Oh. So wait, who's gonna stop the Titans from? Oh. <laughs> that. Oh my goodness, that happened so quickly. They really just dumped Batgirl into the Joker ooze. That not that the same like ooze that or like acid that Harley Quinn fell in that made her face look that way? Like that's the reason why she covers up her face like that. But now this? Oh my uh, Aquaman! <laughs> That is really funny, though. <laughs> it ha it happens. Oh, the pelican is evil too. <laughs> this episode is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I gotta say, you know how Robin is usually crazy and he talks like that. When he's Dick Gravestone, it just somehow fits more. Robin's crazy speeches works as a villain. It just sounds weird because, you know, he's usually a hero, but as a villain, it just works. Standing on the ruins of their once proud heritage. <laughs> the clapping. That is. Wait, I just mentioned that. Now, oh my gosh. Over the world. <laughs> Let's hear some ideas. Oh, oh, oh. Don't raise hands. oh my sorry. goodness. Villains don't say sorry. Sorry. Oh wait. Oh wait. I'm supposed to be a villain now. Uh. Uh. Ads. Uh. Promotions. Uh. Shadow Ray Legends. Uh. Sponsorships. Uh. Do you need earbuds? I got earbuds for days. I don't have ears, so why am I being sponsored by Raycon earbuds? Uh, uh well, um, go eat food. Evil food. Oh, right. Uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's how you do it. We will use our vast wealth and business connections to buy oh. politicians. Wait, what? Then advance our evil agendas through the legislative process. No, stop. 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 This is way too real. The politicians we control. Within several years, we will be Oh, the my goodness. Even knowing. Yeah, yeah, that's too real because that's already happening. What are you talking about, Raven? Raven was just literally saying the quiet part out loud, literally. That is evil right there. Can you just destroy a building instead of doing that? Oh. <laughs> that crossed the line. <laughs> We are super villains. Let's get super crazy. Oh, oh Raven. Me and my boy, the Wait. Walk around with our butts out. Dang. Put those cheeks away, though. But I gotta say, if the one who had to come up with the most evil idea is Raven, I applaud her for that, though. That That is basically textbook capital E evil. Oh, that is evil right there. Oh, oh that's disgusting right there. Can you imagine smelling that the entire time, though? That is awful. Oh. Why did the... Why did the marshmallow wink back at me? If I look at my hot chocolate, well, 
If I made hot chocolate underwater, would that make the whole ocean hot chocolate? If I invited you all to a hot chocolate ocean drink, would you all drink from the ocean if I made it hot chocolate? There'll be marshmallows the size of crabs! But of course, like, everybody's snuggling here. It's like how the Titans are, like, we got freaking Seymour over here with the blanket. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, why? <laughs> the death ray is <laughs> No, it's mammoth. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on, though. That looks sick, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. But also, I love that the death ray is still there because, as you can see, the Hive logo is still on the death ray, meaning that it wasn't taken down at all. It was just there for anybody to use and take, I guess. Does anybody want to free turn on the death ray? It's nobody's using it. You had to drive all the way across the city to deal with this. Much oh, like how the Titans the do worst. it. Just when you're getting comfortable. Oh. Y'all get interrupted <laughs> by some hooligans doing some hooligan things. Hooliganery? What are you doing out here? What you never could. Oh. You're taking over of the world. Not the world. <laughs> the world is squeaky. <laughs> we won't let you get away with this. The evil laughter, though. Oh, this could be really interesting. Now it's like the high for the good guys now. The Teen Titans are not. Well... They're not the Teen Titans anymore. They're the Legion of Doom. So, how do we say that in the, in the, in the title now? Le Le Legion of Doom. That nah, doesn't even sound good. Doesn't even sound good. It's not catchy. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> you right now. Me too. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. You're showing us how our villainous ways have negatively affected your lives. Until oh. now, I didn't realize how awful this feels. There's a lesson in all of this? We are glad that you have seen the errors of your ways. Wait, what? It's that easy? That's all they had to do was literally just tell them about how, like, oh yeah, we get how you're feeling. We're sorry about that. We understand that you want to cuddle with kitties like we do. We completely understand. Oh. We ain't doing this so you could learn some dumb's lessons. Oh my goodness! We're doing it because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they got the stink bo- Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. The plan actually worked. The stink bomb plan actually worked right there. But- in the end, everybody is suffering because, one, you're covered by a blanket, so you can't get any sunlight, so you're in eternal darkness, and two, the smell must be horrible. Remember how those small stink- like, had that- Have you or anyone you know ever used those small stink bombs that you can buy from the store, and when it goes off, it smells disgusting? Imagine that, but for the whole world, though, that smell is never gonna go. Also, because you're covered by a blanket, that smell is never leaving. So, in a way, it's like... Huh. Do you think if the sun... If the sun's rays hit the blanket long enough, will it make the blanket burn and go into flames, meaning that the whole world will soon be on fire? So, I think, you know, the more you think about that, that, that blanket... How's that blanket gonna go? What a weird plan, though. It's like a stink bomb at school, but worse. It's like a smell that will never leave. But also, this episode was really fun. It's just like, oh, what if the Teen Titans were evil? Starfire the Terrible comes back, but then we got Thick Gravestone, the Demon of Azeroth. Be 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 like, Beast Boys is just Babyface Hulk, and Cyborg is just Cyborg with spikes. He is THE Cyborg, though. It was a very fun episode, just seeing, you know, the Titans do bad things. It's like, they usually do bad things, but here, they're justified because they're villains this time. But, I really love how Raven immediately, like, just gave us the most evil 
plot she can think of because it's the most realistic thing you can do. It is super realistic. It can be done, but that is crossing a line right there. But I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.